Hello everyone and welcome. Today I am going to be auto filling the letters on my new MMP 2.0 compact. Now I did my MMP 9mm Pro Series core over a year ago and I use this gun quite a bit and as you guys can see it's still all there perfectly. What I use is nail polish. That's the magazine work. This gun is empty, by the way. And I also did my Glock 21. A little over a year as well. I just never took a video of it. I did make a video of this gun just a couple days ago. I did 11 upgrades to it. You may want to watch that. This is a Glock 21 Gen 3. Fully custom except the slide. But all the internals of the slide are custom. So let's get on with the gun I mentioned. Let's make sure it's empty. It is empty. Let's take it apart. I'm going to be using nail polish for this. Uh, for this particular gun. This is my carry weapon. Just remove the uh, barrel and the, the spring and put it to the side. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to get some isopropyl alcohol. And give it a nice clean. Make sure you get all the uh, residue and oil or whatever have you on the gun. Make sure it's nice and clean wherever you're going to apply the paint. We'll let that dry for a couple seconds. It was pretty dirty. In fact, I'm going to run over it one more time. You want to try to use these pads that I use. Don't leave any lint or anything behind. After the whole process is done, you do want to oil a gun, leave it for a day or two, and then oil a slide. Let's let that dry. This is the alcohol I'm using. After you apply the paint, you want to make sure you do not use a nail polish remover with acetone. It's, it should be non-acetone. This way you can protect the bluing on the gun as much as possible. So let's get started here. Shake up the paint a little. Now the guns that I showed you previously, that I put them through the ringer. I've shot a lot of rounds with them, and nothing's ever happened to the paint. What you want to do is you want to try to put it on heavy because it will come off.
After you remove the dry paint, if you have to go over it one, one more time to get it perfect, it's okay too. I think this gives the gun a great look. You can also do it in other colors. I choose to do it in white. Some, some people, I've seen videos on YouTube that they do it in green, orange. So we'll give that a few minutes to dry. And I'll be right back. Okay, now that the paint is dry, we can start the removal process. Now these little pads that I use are called textured cotton rounds. You can get them anywhere, Walgreens, Walmart. Now that we got it all off, we're going to check it to make sure everything is good. If not, we'll give it another coat. Okay, in here we might have to do a little bit more in here as well. Let's get it done now. All you need now is a light coat. Let's get it removed lightly in a circle. So you get it all out and it looks real nice. That's looking pretty good. This nail polish I'm using seems to dry pretty quick. I'll let you guys know the nail polish I'm using right now. It seems to be good quality nail polish. Now 
There you have it, guys. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to start on the other side. Still got to remove a little on this side. It looks very nice. Put these aside and start on the other side. Nail polish I'm using is, uh, the name of it is, um, S-C, it's E-S-S-I-E. -S -S -E. I think when I purchased it, it was somewhere around $10. I'm sure the price has gone up since everything is going sky high. All right, guys, the last thing we have is this right here. The Smith & Wessons, especially the M&P series, they look really good when you do this to them. They have a lot of lettering on them. Okay, and let's go ahead and remove. Hmm. Looks like that needs another coat. as well. With this nail polish, you have to remove it quite, quite quickly. Now I've tried the testers uh, model paint in the past on different guns and it just doesn't work as well. There you have it guys. Okay, it's now all done.
Let's get the gun together. Now don't forget in a couple days to oil your slide because it's completely dry right now. There it is guys. I think it gives the gun a better look. But I guess it's a matter of preference. These are the three that I have done so far. Okay, if you, you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any new upcoming videos, please don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video.